This time we will talk about cold hands and feet or what we call the renal syndrome. Treatment, we use local points, the Bafi and the Bafo. So the influential point is lung nine and you can see the energy balancing points on the table. So first we have cold hands only. So you have heart young deficiency of the hands only. That's um, so we use uh, bladder 15, which is the back shoe for the heart, SI3 and heart three. Occasionally we use REN14, which is the front move of the heart. And we moxa pericardium eight. And if you have uh, coldness of the feet only, that's a kidney yang deficiency. So as you can see, the yang is deficient. Points, bladder 23, bladder 67. Then we needle and moxa kidney 3, kidney 7 occasionally, and kidney 1 moxa. And if we have uh, cold hands, both of hands and feet, that's spleen yang deficiency, coldness of the both hands and feet. So we use bladder 20, and uh, then we needle and moxa spleen one, stomach 36, liver 13 occasionally, then we moxa pericardium eight and kidney one. Many patients with cold hands and feet, such as those with spleen yang deficiency are also quite thin. So this will give us the impression of uh, being spleen blood and yin deficient as well. So they have to eat more proteins and also cook food, not raw food, and drink warm fluids. Treatment should ideally commence middle to late November. So two to three sessions weekly, 10 times makes a course. After a month's interval, another course of 10 sessions may be done if necessary. Treatment should be done over three years, mostly one course per year. The diagnosis and the treatment given are made on the basis that there is enough blood and fluid in the organs and only the young needs to be tonified in order to improve circulation. Now let's talk about hyperactivity in children. General tranquilizing points, we have do 20, pericardium six, bladder 62, and the extra points, anmion one and two. Energy balancing points are kidney seven or 10, spleen six, lung seven, REN three and 14. No caffeinated drinks. So that means no soft drinks, drink water, blue color uh, in the room and blue night light. So the blue light. So the imbalance here is similar to that causing uh, postmenopausal symptoms in women. Okay, so first we need, we have, uh, so this is hyperactivity in children. So that means there's too much young or there's heart fire. And due to kidney yin deficiency. So if there is too much, there is, if there is heart fire, there is a, a disconnect between the heart and the kidneys. So the reason why these children develop hyperactivity is because of kidney yin deficiency. So here we see that the imbalance is similar to that causing postmenopausal symptoms in women. Okay, so treatments should be done daily at the start, total of 10 sessions. After this, we do one to two sessions a week for two weeks, then one to two sessions a month for six months. The problem with these children is they have low kidney yin and not as many acupuncturists tend to think and treat excessive heart yang. So they should drink water. They should have regular baths that include playing in water and spend some quiet time with the parents. So the kidneys connect us with the past and future. Our past and roots are our kidney yin and our future is the kidney yang. 
Our parents are associated with our past and our roots. This link needs to be strengthened and the child needs this link in order to feel secure and thus feel calm. So quality time with the parents is very, very essential.